A frequently used piece of content in Brightspace is a generic page where you can add your own text, images, and more. You can create your pages here when you click on Upload Create, and then you click on Create a File. At this point, it is worth mentioning that Create a File might not be the best name choice for this action. Rather, think of it as Create a Page. So let's go ahead and create that file, or page. You need to give the page a title, and then you have a larger box over here where you can enter the content for that page. This is much like a Microsoft Word document. You can freely type in whatever you want over here, and the formatting for bold, italics, underline, bullet points, numbered lists, tables, and all of those features are available for you. You can adjust fonts and font sizes as well, and the option for cutting and pasting also exists. Some interesting features we would like to point out. Firstly, when you actually paste from a Word document, or a web browser, or some other piece of text that has formatting, it might ask you whether you want to keep that formatting or remove it. In general, we recommend that you remove the formatting. What this does is to remove the variety of fonts that might be copied across and just keeps a uniform looking website. This is especially important for mobile devices. But not much is lost, actually. It will retain things like bullet points and font sizing for you. So this is a great way to quickly import content into your Brightspace site without spending a lot of time creating it from scratch. We also want to point out that you can save your work as draft at any time with this button down here. If you like an uncluttered environment, click on these four outward pointing arrows and then you get a larger workspace. Click on the four arrows again to bring the workspace back to its usual size. There is a built-in spell checker, and for those of you that are more on the power user side, you can always edit the raw HTML of this page. One other useful feature is that you can preview what the document will look like without having to publish it and going to view it as a student all the time. These buttons down here will save you quite a bit of time doing that. Now, since this is a technical university, there's going to be quite a lot of mathematics happening in some of these pages. Click on the Sigma icon here, and the first and last option are actually the most useful. Graphical equation is much like the equation editor from Microsoft Word, while a LaTeX equation is for those of you that understand and use LaTeX regularly. There is the ability to preview your LaTeX equation so that you are sure it is what you expect it is. Remember, you can always preview your document to ensure the math is exactly displayed as you would like it to be. You can insert images using the second icon, Insert Image, and you can either drag and drop your image directly into that region or click on the Upload button and choose a file from your computer. The ability to insert a symbol can also be useful, as well as inserting horizontal lines to partition your content. Another useful feature is this Insert Quick Link. Inserting a quick link allows you to create a link to other parts of your course within Brightspace. For example, you can link to an assignment, you can link to other discussions or a quiz even, but the most common link would be to another piece of content in your site. You can even link to another page, like this one, in another part of your site. You will use this generic content area over and over in Brightspace. For example, when you create an announcement, you will have exactly the same editing area appearing. Also, when you enter descriptions, you will see a similar editing area. So it is worth spending a few minutes in this environment and experimenting with the various features that are available to you. How will you be optimally able to use these at various times in your course? Finally, when you are done editing your page, click on Publish, and then you can see your content appear.